to stop for some water and I thought I'd do a quick check-in. Um, it's a beautiful day. It's a absolutely, sorry, absolutely fabulous day for a hike. And yet when I woke up this morning, all I wanted to do is lay in my hammock. And uh, after breakfast, I started being a little feverish again. I just can't kick whatever this is. And I don't know what it is. Um, some talk last night, maybe it was COVID. Uh, maybe it's Lyme, I don't know. Um, but I really, um, I'm struggling with not feeling well. And um, having each day be so hard, I'm not used to that. I'm an avid backpacker hiker, so um, to not feel well is, is difficult. So I am heading into town again, which not what I planned um, tomorrow. And we'll see, we'll see how I feel. I think I just need some real food. I'm struggling with food. Nothing stays settled in my stomach, um, nothing. N none of my food, none of the backpacker food. I even tried instant mashed potatoes. Um, those aren't good. Um, so I'm gonna go into town and get myself a salad and some other really good food um, from the grocery store. Not like restaurant food or anything like that, just food and get some rest and, and see how I feel. I'm contemplating taking some time off and, and regrouping. If I can't kick this every day, just makes it harder and harder and harder. So I feel like my body is just shouting at me to do something. And uh, so the first thing I'm gonna do is rest. Been a really nice day for a hike so far. Temperature is not too hot. There's a nice little breeze. There's enough clouds in the sky to keep the sun at bay. The birds have been particularly loud today in the morning and been hearing them all all morning. It's really nice. So I have been walking down steps this whole way, down to the falls. And there's lots more. The falls are so loud and they're ginormous. It's like it's down to the bottom. It's been so different in through here, all these rocks. Rocks and roots.
on my last stretch for the day and it is up for three miles. There's a big lake out there. Just talked to somebody who said we walk all the way around it. So we'll be following it and seeing it for about five miles. I'm an hour, not an hour, a mile away from the tent site and it's up. More rocks. I've never been so happy to see water. So this was an unreliable water source according to my map, which means it may or may not exist. And so when you're climbing up a mountain, knowing that you might not have water and you're thirsty, <laughs> when you stumble upon it, it is amazing. Looks like this tree was uprooted at some point. That was kind of weird. It's only four o'clock. My clothes are drying. My pack is up. I'm all set up. I'll stake out my tarp later. Um, yeah. So there's lots of flat spots here at the top of the mountain. And so it's time for a little yoga. But first, I'm going to lay down on my mat and watch the wind in the trees. I'm really looking forward to showering at the hostel. I just can't keep my feet clean, <laughs> which is to be expected, but they're, they're kind of a mess. My hands are a mess too, very dry. It's been super fun to get creative, to try to hold my phone up. Um, so I'm stretching out of my yoga mat uh, right now I'm using my Crocs to hold the phone. Um, yeah, uh, what's with the update? The update is that I'm all set up for camp and a couple things have gone wrong. Um, actually I have a video of it, but my yoga mat got torn. Um, I wasn't thinking about it and I headed into the woods to pee and uh, got caught on a tree and wasn't paying attention, kind of bulldozed my way through it. I have to be more careful. I use my duct tape to fix it, but we'll see how long that lasts. And then I have another video, and I'll put those after this. Um, my top quilt blew out. I snagged it with the zipper, and um, yeah, so that kind of sucks. I've been using Luco tape and things like that to keep it together. Hope I don't have to buy a new one. One of the things that I didn't do is really put aside a lot of money for um, a gear replacement. I was hoping that I wouldn't have that as an issue. And so now I've replaced a few things. I replaced my um, reservoir, which broke. I got new gloves, um, rain jacket, and so now it looks like yoga mat and quilt aches. The last couple of days I have lost some gear. My yoga mat now has a big giant hole. And let's see if I can show it to you. Hold on. I had to patch my top quilt. So I had a blowout. This is gear tape. I hope it lasts. It's really weird to be on top of a mountain in Tennessee all by myself. Just in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> and uh, the wind has been blowing quite a bit. The sky is still pretty blue. I doubt anyone will come to camp as it's already late. But I am um, set up over here. And yoga is done. I'm going to cook some food, even though I really don't feel like eating. That's been my struggle these past few days. I just don't feel like eating. It's the end of the day. It's 
sort of. It's not quite eight, but the end of the day for me. It's been a pretty good one. I am going to take some extra time while I'm in town. I've been craving um, crackers and cheese and bananas. Um, I'm really looking forward to a romaine salad and uh, also a mixed grain salad with pears. My day today was coming up with all the, the foods that um, might help uh, make me feel better. So. I've got a big list and I'm gonna go shopping. And so tomorrow I'll wake up and hike three miles into town and maybe immediately go to the grocery store. Just wanted to thank all of you who are commenting on YouTube. It's just so nice. It's so nice to have your support, uh, your encouragement, all that. It just feels really good. Uh, I look for it on my bad days. I. I definitely read the comments to um, make me feel better, and they do, so thank you.